get on with that. Another late-breaking story today, and a big one. Yeah, we lead off tonight's broadcast with a story on one of the strangest couplings that E.T. has ever reported. Rumors have swirled around town about this marriage for weeks. Music, Michael Jackson and the daughter of the king of rock and roll, Lisa Marie Presley, have tied the knot. Hang on to your blue suede shoes because it's now official. Michael Jackson and Lisa Marie Presley are, repeat, are married. Promise me that you will leave me never. As amazing as it sounds, the 35-year-old music star and the 26-year-old daughter of Elvis say they got married 11 weeks ago outside the United States. In a statement today, Lisa Marie said, quote, I am very much in love with Michael. I dedicate my life to being his wife. I understand and support him. We both look forward to raising a family and living a happy, healthy life together. This shocking news comes on the heels of tabloid rumors that the couple tied the knot in the Dominican Republic, a rumor that was denied by a Jackson Company spokesman. If the public buys such, I think it's time for the public to at least say, come on, let's stop this stuff. Now Jones confirms there is a new Mrs. Lisa Marie Presley Jackson who, along with her husband, wants, above all things, privacy. Despite their wedded bliss, the troubles are not over for Michael or Lisa Marie. Hearings still remain on Jackson's molestation charges, and Lisa Marie's marital status to first husband Danny Keough is still not known. She filed for divorce in the spring. The surprise wedding of Michael Jackson and Lisa Marie Presley is quite simply a musical merger made in heaven. Names and music just don't get any bigger than Presley and Jackson. Entertainment Tonight has the exclusive on a possible publicity stunt that got out of hand. The dog girl is mine. It is the wedding of all weddings, a merger of famous names and fabulous fortunes. The question today, is it true love or a marriage of convenience? Jackson biographer J. Randy Tarbarelli thinks it's a little bit of both. It's a publicity stunt that took a strange turn. Tara Borelli says his sources in the Jackson camp told him it was designed as a hoax to divert attention from Michael's legal problems. Lisa Marie saw things a bit differently. What has apparently happened, from my understanding, is that Lisa Marie Presley has fallen in love with Michael Jackson, and what uh, they planned to do was have an annulment, but now it looks like there might not be one. If they're really in love and they have the right reasons, then, you know, the best luck to them. All her money and all his money? Have a good time. Uh -huh. Forbes magazine reporter Robert LaFranco says Jackson's camp told him there is a prenuptial agreement. The combined net worth is staggering. You can easily make a case for $300 million. You get into a gray area, we can safely say 250 without a doubt. At Graceland, an official statement wished the couple happiness, but pointedly announced that, quote, there will be no changes in the structure or operations of Elvis Presley Enterprises or Graceland. The marriage is something in Lisa's personal life. we got to move back. In New York, crowds of onlookers hoped for a glimpse of the newlyweds outside their Trump Tower residence, but they had to be satisfied with the landlord. They're very happy. I think they're really happy. Meanwhile, in Las Vegas, on stage at the Imperial Palace, a proud father-in-law had strong words of advice. Now, you treat her right, Michael. I'm going to stretch her neck like a long rubber band. The annual bash at Graceland to pay homage to Elvis is coming up in two weeks, and the question of the hour is whether his daughter, Lisa Marie, will show up with husband Michael, triggering an even bigger down-south paparazzi explosion. Early on in the O.J. Simpson murder case,